بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار الجبار المتكبر In the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, there was a sahabi called Zaad al Aswad al Sulmi radiyallahu anhu, and he came to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and he said, "O Messenger of Allah, will I also enter into Jannah?" And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Of course, you will enter into Jannah if you're a believer." He said, "But me, I'm regarded as low amongst the believers." He said, "O Zaad, for you is the same reward as everybody else." And then the Zaad radiyallahu anhu said. Why will nobody give me their daughter to marry? And the Prophet sallallahu said, "Go to his Ibn Wahab here." And Ibn Wahab was one of the leaders of Medina. He was one of the leaders of Medina, and his daughter was known for her beauty. And he said, "Is Ibn Wahab here?" And Ibn Wahab had just embraced Islam, and they said, "He's home, O Messenger of Allah." And the Prophet sallallahu said, "O Sa'd, go home and tell Ibn Wahab that I have sent you to request his daughter's hand in marriage." And Saad went home to the house of Ibn Wahhab. He was elated. He knocked on the door, and Ibn Wahhab opened the door. And Saad radiAllahu anhu said, "The Messenger of Allah has sent me to request your daughter's hand in marriage." And Ibn Wahhab said, "You, my daughter? Don't you know my daughter? She's known for her beauty in Medina." And he said, "On your bike, go on." And when Saad was walking away, his daughter heard this, and she said, "Oh, my father, wait, wait." This is a request of the Messenger of Allah. Where will we be if we turn down a request of the Messenger of Allah? You know, where will we be? Where will we be when we turn away from the concerns of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? I'll tell you where we will be. We will be where we are. We will be where we are. And she said, Where will we be if we turn away from the request of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And then she turned to Saad and she said, Saad, go to the Messenger of Allah and tell him I'm ready to marry you. And Saad went to the Messenger of Allah, and he was elated. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did the nikah on 400 dirhams. And Saad radiyallahu anhu said, 400 dirhams? The oh, Messenger of Allah, I've never seen 400 dirhams. And the Messenger of Allah said, Go to Ali ibn Rahman ibn Auf and Uthman, and tell each one of them to give you 200 dirhams each. And he went to him, and they gave him 200 dirhams plus. And he's, he's going to his wife, and he thought, Let me go to the marketplace. And buy some, buy some goods, buy some presents for my wife, for my new beautiful wife. And he's in the marketplace, and then all of a sudden he hears a call: Ya Khayl Allahi Irkabi, Ya Khayl Allahi Irkabi, Il Jannati Abshiri. The call of jihad came, and the narration mentioned Asad stood wherever he was, and he looked into the heavens, and he said. Oh Allah, I will buy with this wealth something which is pleasing unto Thee. And he bought a hull horse and he bought a sword. And he went into the battlefield and he covered his face because he knew if the Messenger of Allah saw him, he would send him back. He would say, "Sad, you just got married." And the Sahaba began to say, "Who is this man who is coming to the battlefield with his face covered?" And Ali radiAllahu anhu said, "Leave him. He's come to fight. Leave him." And then he went into the battle. And his horse was struck, and he fell off his horse. And the narration mentions he stood up, and he went like this. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saw his dark skin, and the Messenger of Allah said, "He said, 'Oh Saad, is that you?'" And he said, "May my mother and my father be sacrificed for your Messenger of Allah, Is Saad?" And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Oh Saad, there is no other abode for you but Jannah." And Saad became elated, and he jumped into the battlefield. And after a while, there was a call: "Usiba Saad, Usiba Saad." Saad has been martyred. And the narration mentions that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ran into the battlefield. He ran into the battlefield, and he took the head of Saad and he placed it on his blessed thigh. And the tears of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam were flowing, and they were falling on the face of Saad. And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was crying profusely. And after a while, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam began to smile, and then he turned. Away. And the Sahab, and there was a Sahabi called Abu Lubab ibn Munzir, 
And he said, Oh Messenger of Allah, I see you do something today I've never seen you do before. And the Messenger of Allah said, What's that? He said, Before, at first you cried, then you smiled, then you turned away. And the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, I cried because my beloved companion passed away. And I saw his sacrifice and his love for me. But then when I saw his status by Allah, that he had reached the hole, and Abu Lubaba said, What is the hole? And he said, it is a well, a fountain, from which if a person drinks from, he will never be thirsty after the day. It is sweeter than honey and whiter than milk. And when I saw his status by Allah, I began to smile. And then I saw his wives in Jannah, they were running towards him with so much eagerness that the, the shins were being exposed and I looked the other way. And then the Prophet Sallallahu turned toward the Sahaba and they said, bring his horse and his sword. And they brought his horse and his sword. And they said, and he said, take this to his wife and tell her that this is his inheritance. And also inform her that Allah has given Zat wives in Jannah which are even more beautiful than she is. This was a man who a while ago didn't even know if he would attain Jannah. He had no status in society. But look at his status by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because he lived, he died for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us all people who live for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people who everybody sees our khayr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us united in his dunya. And may Allah reunite us all in Jannatul Firdaus.